Welcome back to Resident Evil Remake. I am all set and prepared to go into the next horrible area. Uh, I made sure I brought some powerful stuff. I'm bringing my assault shotgun fully loaded. I'm bringing a grenade launcher with six acid rounds. And I'm going to bring my magnum as well. This and this will be one-hit kills for any and all hunters found in the area we're going next. But we need to put this back in. I guess I shouldn't have taken it out. Not yet, anyway. All right. So let's see if I remember how this uh, this little puzzle goes without having to deal with garbage. Is there a fucking dog? Okay. Is there a place to put the thing in here? There is not. Okay. So I'm going to have to... I see. Okay, whatever. Asinine. So let's go across this. Basically what we need to do is the battery that we have is going to activate the elevator. When the water in this pond is up... Fuck you! When the water in the pond is up... Access to the next area... Is possible. When it's down... It's not. So this will allow me to... Circle around without having to cross this. This right here. Hey fucker. Come on. Ah! I didn't press the button! Well, you know what? How about... How about fuck you? How about that shit? Whatever. There. Ah! Anus munchers. All right. Now we're back here. Now we can use the goddamn crank to bring the water back up, go back down the elevator, and the way will be open. Uh-huh. Just like that. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. You know, in the original Resident Evil, they had a little FMV video of the water going up and down. Apparently, they couldn't be fucking bothered to do it again. I need the FMV of the water going up and down. It's so immersive. Alright, now that I have a destination- Hey, fuck you! Oh no! I'd use the- ah! I didn't use the gun I wanted to. Get out of my asshole. Get! Damn it! I just wasted one fucking hunter kill. Ah, uh, okay. Let's look at the map. Yeah, there actually is a save point here. And some new ink ribbons. We're gonna use it. Because this place scares me. Once we get out of here, it's smooth sailing. Um, where did I put all my shit? There it is. Okay. I think we can put away this crank. I don't think I need this one anymore. Now, equip this back. 
Now let's start exploring the ugly caves. And I do mean ugly. This place sucks. I'm not familiar. It says there's more over there. Hmm. Okay. It says down here it's a dead end. A large boulder blocks the way. There are bloodstains underneath it. I guess we'll go over here. Hello? Oh yeah, there's this thing over here. The elevator's power source is a round lid. Open it? Sure. Will you take the shaft? That's what she said. Now, I believe it's missing a piece. It uh, shouldn't be that difficult to figure out this code here. Is there a button to push on it? It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in its side. Yeah, I can tell. One, two, three, and one. Or four, two, three, and one. It's not that hard. But I think it's missing a piece, though. That's the problem. Wait, was that something over there? Yeah, that's something. No, I don't want no goddamn handgun ammo. I'm done with that thing. Have I gone this way? No. Let's do it. I'm already lost. I don't know where I'm going. This place isn't that big, though. We'll figure it out. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <clears throat> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up! <clears throat> Enrico! Traitor? Who? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoever did this is definitely a professional. Why? Because he shot him in the chest? That doesn't take a professional. He's holding something. A new crank. This one's different. Enrico is dead. What could he have known? Is there anything else? I guess not. We're done here. So I guess we'll move on. Whoa! Bitch! Ooh. Oh, that was close. Did you see that shit? Did you see them ninja-ass reflexes? You bet you fucking did. Does that mean there's more? They're here, aren't they? Wait, was that something? That's something. Whatever, I'm gonna have to run by the um, item box anyway, so I guess I'll just pick up the handgun ammo. There are a bunch of zombies in the last area I can use this piddly ammo on. Um. Yeah, so we're done here. We gotta come back here when we have whatever key it is. The second product of the key. Hey, buddy. Oh, you mother- Oh! Fucker! I missed. I was about to talk some shit, too. Okay, I only got one left for these guys with this gun. Woo! Okay. I want to I want to backtrack as little as possible, so I'll be using the map quite a bit. Here. Okay. Hello. 
let us drop these off in here. Wherever my, there we go. Um, we're gonna keep the crank. Let me use a green herb real quick. There we go. And let's move on to this way. And just take a minute to uh, appreciate how stupid this fucking idea is. That there's a portion of tunnel that you can circle around. Wait, you know what? Hmm. Hmm. No, I do have a blue herb mixed in with the... I have a mixed herb. There's a, a boss that has poison in this area. My mixed herb does have some good... Uh, Okay. Huh? Oh no, yeah. Oh my god! Run! Okay, Jill. Okay, don't be so dramatic. It wasn't that big of a run. Shotgun shells. Okay. Well, now I'm full the fuck up. Now what am I supposed to do? Oh, there was a door over there? Oh, there is. But now my inventory's full. Now let's check out the new path. Oh, you know what? I think the boulder opened the path. That's what it was. That door wasn't there before. Oh, yeah. Technically speaking... Ow! You little fucker. You actually don't have to beat this monster. Like all of Jill's situations. We can just slice the door and get out. that. Bye! Another coward play done. And I didn't get poisoned too, which is nice. However, now I'm stuck with a fucking knife. And I will have to go back at some point. Oh, there's a map of the courtyard. Is this a courtyard? This doesn't look like a courtyard to me. But whatever. And some blue herbs, which I don't need. This is the last area of the game, literally, that can poison you. Okay. Let's have a look. Have we reached the end? doesn't appear to be much here anymore. Ah, yes. We gotta cycle this around again. No. One more time. There we go. Yep. I'm like Indiana Jones and shit. What's back here? I don't know. Do I wanna? I don't think I wanna. Because as soon as I do, I'll have to run back through. Wait a second. We'll see. We'll see. I think this, the piece of the key I need is in here. If it combines into one piece, then I'll have space for it. Just thinking out loud. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a decent puzzle. I'll give it credit. What we gotta do, the statue is turned around, and we have to put it in that little open spot. 
So we're gonna move it here against this wall. Use the crankity crank to push it out. So again to retract it. onto here, onto the circle thing. Which then turns it. Uh-huh. But we need to put it back on. Like that. Perfect. And now we just need to push it into place. Come on, fuck. There we go. Examine. Will you turn it? Yes. This is honestly kind of ridiculous. I can tell the answer is four, two, three, and one. But it makes you do it before the key, I think, will fit back. Oh, look at that. Four, two, three, one. Oh. Oh my god, did you see the boobs jiggle? They made the boobs jiggle when she was on it. Christ. Now, let's continue. Better not restock this area with hunters. That would make me upset. Let's double check. Four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. It looks like the power has been restored. Let's go deeper down. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Sound. It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. What a man, Barry. Hey, Jill, you go check it out. I don't want to do that shit. All right. Before we go that way, we need to do a little, uh, a little thing down here. Where is it? There's something. Oh no, we don't do this yet. Okay. 
Sorry. I confused. I think I'm still good to go. They give you an item box, but no save room. Is there anything over here? Nope. Did you hear Lisa? Yes! Lisa's down here. And she's still invincible. Yep, there she is. Okay. Look. So, she circles around. Oh my god, what happened? Oh god. Oh god. There we go. I was trying to use my pointer. She circles around this room, trying to chase you. Ultimately, we need to open up this door up here. So I guess we'll go through here. Try to avoid her. Are we here? No! Back the fucking way I came. Bullshit. It's quite confusing here, actually. Oh god, there she is. Don't like it. Okay, we're going this way. Ooh. I will take this. Don't want to leave behind a full heal. Huh? Left. Oh. I don't know why, man. Just her shuffling. Her shuffling in the background. I don't like it. Okay. There is something up here. Very easily missed. People don't realize that you can actually climb up here. And we get battery pack. More magnum bullets. Wonderful. And a clip. Who gives a fuck? But the real reason you come in here is this is what... We're going to push this on here. There's something inside this box we need, but we need to actually get it out. So we're going to send this shit on a little ride. A device for transporting materials. Start it up. Let me, let me move? No? Okay, I had to wait for the sound to be finished. Sorry. So we gotta head back to Barry now. Shut up, Lisa. Oh, God! There you are. Fuck. This way? Yeah. Why does she give me so, so much anxiety? I fucking... I played this game a bunch. She's scary, man. And he just fucking left me down here. What a fucking asshole. I'm stuck now. There's no going back. Where the hell? Fuck! I'm gonna put these away. Oh, actually, I had another loader of these somewhere. There we go. Oops. Okay. So we're going to push this off.
then... Underneath a smasher thing. A garbage compactor. Oh! So good. And look. Got a broken flamethrower. That's right. It's broken. We don't get to use it. It's basically the key to our escape. So we need to make our way past Lisa once more. And then we're good. Oh, you're over there. A-hole! I need that switch! Some kind of lever. Pull it. Yes. Now that comes out. I have to quickly run. Where is it? Straight ahead and to the left. Oh, she's right there. Oh, fuck. It's on a timer, I believe. And use the broken... Fuck! No! Ah! There we go. Woo! Now we're out. She doesn't come through doors. Huh? Well, what the fuck is this? fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. The desk is cluttered with old, beat-up dolls and used candles. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls. They're all faded and worn. We have found Lisa's residence. Oh, God. Snakes? Of course, snakes. Lisa's bedroom. We take the jewelry box. I will. Let's have a look at it. Aha! That's what I needed. The stone ring. A family picture and notes. So that's Lisa and George Trevor, her dad, and her mother Jessica when they were a normal family. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica. Administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Well, her mother was tested on and is now dead. Lisa. Administered type... Ad administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion. Positive but delayed fusion. Body modification. Observed constant results. Status continue protective observation. George. Action terminated. November 30th. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th. I felt dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that she would escape that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attached her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th. From inside box scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. So... This whole fucking story with Lisa is tragic. It's fucking awful. But this last page here is a clue to when we fight Lisa. From inside box, scent of mommy, maybe true mother there, stone box hard, steel rope in the way. So she's talking about Jessica's grave. She's found Jessica's grave, but can't get it 
inside because there's a steel rope. Four stones. That's our clue to when we face off against Lisa. A bunch of photographs featuring a young girl depicting various scenes from her upbringing. The bed is still warm. Did I miss anything in here? I think there's some stuff upstairs. Space for him. All right, now where does this drop me off? Back in our home. Or at least the cabin. And we know she's not here because she's down there, so we're safe. Um. So what we need to do is pull out... Not the Medal of Eagle. The Metal Object. Combine that with this. Now we need to pull the other one out of the door that led us into the courtyard. But we never have to go out there again, so that's fine. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking, since we're coming up to a boss battle here real soon, I like, should I save? And it's like, ah. We're fine. The question is, is that they populate out here with more things. What the fuck? This always happens, man. Something, something about the screenshot turns you around. It's the bad angle. you. Whatever. Your vomit don't hurt me. This is what we need. Right here. We ain't never going back. It's all good. Yes! Once we're back here, we're gonna take a little trip down here. Remember this? Fuck off with this shit. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. We're about to find out. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it? Yeah. What else would I do? I mean, granted, walking away would be a very, uh, smart decision. You know what? I think I will... ...actually save. I think it's a smart decision, because I've done a lot, and dying here would piss me off. Even though it's not really hard. And let's put these back and get on with it. How far down does it go? Further down. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were. Start 
talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! Give him the gun. Thanks, Jill. Now, remember the four stones? That's these things. All we gotta do is push them off. That will let her see her mom. Hopefully Barry doesn't die. That would suck. Basically just a distraction because she's invincible. And that's it. That's the end of Lisa's story. Again, very sad. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shot, mom, when they give me the shot, the shots, mommy's, what the fuck? When they give me the shot, mommies can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967, Jessica Trevor. Yeah. Now, canonically, Lisa Trevor is still alive. Um... But she's never appeared again. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Yep. We are done. And moving on. But, the question is, there's no item box out here. I don't have the things I need. So, um, hmm, hopefully I can get to that item box. I'll be right back. Welcome back. <laughs> anyway, I have what I need now. I was able to get back to the item box. I don't know why I thought I couldn't. I mean, they wouldn't put you into a situation where you couldn't fucking continue. I need to put the wolf medal here and the eagle medal on the other side. And we can say goodbye to this place forever. Of course I went the long way around. Uh-huh. Use the elevator. Use it good.
And here we are. We have reached the final area of the game. I don't know if we can finish it in one episode. It might possibly be two shorter episodes. I'd rather not have one that's only 10 minutes, but I'll judge that later. But yes, as always, thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. You stay safe out there. We're going to finish this up soon. Peace out.